Hello ladies and gentlemen, today we will be looking at the newly updated Mass Effect Parpon template, which happens to be one of the most amazing Parpon templates that I've ever seen. You might remember this one from the Parallax video. And today we will check out what's new in the updated version 4.7. And at the same time I'll show you how you can create this awesome pulsing animation, so let's go! Alright, so here it is, Massive X presentation template 4.7. So since I've already bought this template in the past, we can go to download section and we can download the newest updated version. And while we're here, let me just give it a 5 star rating because I think it's just super wonderful PowerPoint template. Super awesome, alright. And by the way, if you're interested to check out this template, link is in the video description. Alright, so here it is, Massive X PowerPoint template. So let's just jump to slide sorter view so that we can better see the structure of the template. And here you can see different sections of this template. So basically each section is a update. So let's just scroll down to find the newest update 4.7. And let's just start the slideshow and see what's new inside the Massive X PowerPoint template. Alright, so we can see some interesting looking pulsing animation with these bubbles coming from the center. And here is a dark version of this animation, looks beautiful. Here we have something similar with additional dotted circles rotating around, that's awesome. Here we can see a map animation, that's interesting. So here we have some similar pulsing animation from the right side of the slide and here we have something similar from the left side. Alright, so I think it would be fun to show you how to create this pulsing animation. With these uh, circles coming from the center of the slide. And here is a pulsing animation that I've done myself after being inspired by the newly updated Mass Effect PowerPoint template. And I'll show you how you can create it yourself step by step. So let's just insert a new slide. And let's fill our slide with some solid dark color. So let's just go to format background, solid fill, and let's choose any color from our color palette. By the way, if you would like to change your color palette, you can always go to design tab, uh, slide variants, uh, colors, and here you'll find all of the color palettes that you have. Uh, here are the default color palettes, and here we have a lot of Massive X color palettes, and I'll just choose gradient color 7. Alright, and let's just choose that solid color, for example this one, dark blue, looking beautiful. Alright, so now we'll have to insert a couple of circles as we have here in the first slide. Alright, so let's just go to insert tab and let's go to shapes and find the circle tool. So just hold down the shift key to get a perfect circle, just like that. And for the height and width, let's just check the check marks so that uh, we get a proportionate uh, circle. Let's insert 8 centimeters. Let's align it to the center and to the middle. And you can always go to view and activate slide guides to see if your objects are in the center of the slide and everything is looking beautiful. So let's select our shape and let's give it a beautiful fill. For example, this purple color. That's awesome. Alright, and now we can actually start adding animations to this circle, so let's just select it, go to animations, let's activate animation pane, and let's click on grow shrink animation. Alright, let's make sure it starts with previous, which means it starts automatically, duration 2 seconds, for the effect options let's insert 300%, which means that our circle will grow to 300%. Alright, and in the timing options, let's choose repeat until the end of slide. So it means that the animation will be repeating all the time. So let's check it out on the full screen. And now this is how it looks like. Uh, the circle is growing to 300%. It takes uh, 2 seconds and then it repeats. That's awesome. So let's add a second animation to the circle and let's add fade exit animations. Animation. <laughs> Okay, 
So once again, let's make sure it starts with previous, which means it starts automatically. Duration is uh, two seconds. And in the timing options, once again, let's choose repeat until the end of slide. All right. And now let's see what kind of effect do we get. So as you can see, the circle is growing and at the same time it is fading away. So this way we get this subtle grow fade animation. That's beautiful. All right, so now we can basically copy uh, Command C or Control V and paste this circle. Let's just change the color of the second circle so that we can see it better. And at the same time, let's change the size of this circle. So let's insert uh, seven centimeters for the height and width and let's align it to the center. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So this is how the animation looks like. As you can see, both of these circles are being animated at the same time. So let's just give it a little bit of delay for the second circle. So in the delay options, let's insert 0.25 seconds. And don't forget the exit, uh, the fade animation. Let's add 0.25 seconds as well. And now we can check it out on the full screen. Now, as you can see, the second bubble is being animated with a little bit of delay. So that's awesome. All right, so let's copy this second circle one more time. We can use Command C, Command V, or we can use Control D or Command D to copy objects. So let's give it a different fill and let's change its size to six centimeters and let's align it to the center. And this time let's add delay of 0.5 seconds. And let's do it for the fade animation as well. And now we can check it out on the full screen. All right, everything's looking beautiful. All of the circles are animating at the same time and the second and the third circles have a little bit of delay. That's awesome. All right, so let's insert one more circle. Hold down the shift key to get a perfect circle. Let's uh, change its size to five centimeters. All right, and let's place our circle to the center of the slide and let's give it a dark uh, blue color like this. All right, so this last circle is just going to sit on top of all of the rest of the circles just for fun. Okay, and now we can add a little bit of shadow to this uh, top circle just to make it look more interesting. So let's just go to format shape and let's go to shadow options and let's choose center shadow. Let's choose this dark blue color and let's just increase the blur a little bit. And I think it's looking beautiful. I just forgot to remove the outline. So let's just select our top circle and let's choose no outline. And everything is looking beautiful. All right, and the last thing that's left to do is to insert this uh, title. So let's just go to insert, choose text box. Let's click anywhere that we want and let's make sure that we have white color for the text. For the font, let's use open sans and for the font weight, let's use extra bold. For the font size, let's insert uh, 90. And let's just type in anything that we want, for example, awesome. And make sure that the uh, text is center aligned and let's align it to the center of the slide. All right, and let's make this text even more pretty by adding a shadow. So let's just go to text options and go to shadow and let's choose this bottom right shadow. And let's choose this dark blue color. That's awesome. And let's just zoom in a little bit so that we can better see what we're doing. We can increase the blur. All right. And we can play with the distance as well. And I think it looks just wonderful. All right. Let's play it on the full screen. Congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. Now you know what you can expect to find in the newly updated Massive X PowerPoint template. And at the same time, now you know how you can create this pulsing animation. So thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.